here at Stratford Yards, and a long line drive six by Wolf, taken by one of the up men at the 20 yard line by Burbank, but play is stopped immediately by the officials. And apparently, maybe outside against the Indians. Seconds against Burbank, and Wolf is a shot has a pretty strong leg, and he'll fight that win also. Indians moving right to left to pass the ball. Line drive set, and it goes to get to the five yard line, and it drops down the end zone on down. And Burbank will take over. So Burbank will have a quarterback, Brian Lindell, a 6'2", 170 pound junior, in facing Jason Shanley, who's been suspended for a couple of weeks. And the handoff on the right side is Jay Sumner, and he might have got back to the line. And that's about all. George Pace making the tackles for the Indians. He's on the year, 48 tackles. He's number two behind linebacker Dan McKinn. He has 55. But Pace is in those impressive numbers. He has 10 sacks. Second down and 10. Linda will take to the air. Throw the table sideline. Almost intercepted at the 25 by Sutterberg. And he couldn't hold on to it.
keep the extra point, Brady Volensky. The Indians in their black uniforms, red numerals, white, red, and black trim. And the Blue Dogs in that kind of silver pants, white jersey, blue numerals. The ball is down, the kick by Volensky is up, and it is good. Blue Dogs, seven to nothing, down the four. Quarterbacks, this is Rand and Willis, the running backs. And the slot 
right, Juan Valencia. They give to Rand, sweeping the left side. He's going to be wrapped up and thrown for a loss back at about the 16. And that defensive line is driving through. That Burbank offensive line making the tackle. Scott Flowers, a promising sophomore, 6 feet, 200 feet and over the ball, 5'11", 175. Second down and 14 at the Burbank 16 yard line. Down 21 nothing. with 2.13 remaining in the first quarter. Lindwell with half for go in the middle. And in and out of the hands at about the 29, trying to make the catch of Trevor Dawson. A 21, Burbank nothing. Double receivers to the right side. Dawson in the slot right. The backs are split. Land and Brennis. And Linville rolling to his right. Here comes the procession. Gets away from one man. Throws towards the sidelines. And is caught by Dawson at the 23. And then tackled quickly. Jamie Malaco. And the center goes full fair to make the tackle. And it's still 15 to 17. The university team drops to 5 and 2. Here comes the rush. And Rivera gets it away from his own 10. And it's picked up by Sutterberg at the 50. He's at the 45, down to the Burbank 40, and then finally down to about the 37. Jason Hill making the stop for the Bulldogs. A field goal about 30 yards with time running out, and the official said no. Actually, it made it good, but it was denied, and Burbank came up with the loss. The handoff to Derek Charles right now his left side, crosses the 40 down to about the 35. 25-yard touchdown pass from Connors to Doug Gustafso. Out of the eye formation, Gustafso wide to the left side. Connors play action fake. Here comes the pressure. Connors gets away. Now he's going to run. He's up to the 35, down to the 30, down to the 26. Nice run by Ryan. Four yards. And the season, 26 points a game. Keep in mind, it's the team that started off 0-2, losing to Canyon and Crusty, two very fine saves. Two guys nothing back at the second quarter. This is a high school football game of the week on 12 points. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Get your business in the room where everything's close. The new GTE Everything page is in the center for the guy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Leading 21 to nothing. Double wing formation. The only remaining back is Scott Blanchard in motion to Leo right to left. Ryan Connor, the junior quarterback, fumbles his staff and then falls in the ball quickly and recovers from the Indians at about the 28, maybe the 29 here. Super receiver to the left side. Third and 13 from the Indians. Wide to the right side. Here's the Santo. On a long count, takes his snap, throws to his left, steps up by his feet over the middle. It is hands in the end zone for Brian Vernier. Make it dead to Sato. And the Indians will go for it. Out of the double wing formation. Blanchard, the lone remaining back. Connors, on a long count, looks at the defense, steps up in the pocket. Now rolls to his right. Here comes the pressure. Going back to his 40, trying to get away, and then throws it away. And it's and then we run out of bounds immediately as Whitfield made the catch. Cut down those turnovers because that's two coffee ones so far in the first quarter. Now in the quarterback is Jason Shannon. So we're just talking about the young man. Here he is coming back in his quarterback and going to his right. Here comes the pressure. Shannon to the 30, trying to get outside of the 35 and then run out of bounds. And the team made yards. The numbers are a little bit better this year. That's, a, that's some experience. Pick up a five yards in the play. Second down and five. Chandler, the give. And the run off his right side. And Kent. That time they scored his three weeks ago against Beverly Hills High School. 25 24 miles. Third down and three. Look at the first down. Chandler. Back to pass. Fires towards the sidelines. And it is popped out of bounds. Making the grab with Sean Casey. And he now has a couple of in bounds with a four down for Burbank. Six, seven, two. Rivera will take the snap of his own 20. Here comes the pressure. Hits it about the 45 as Gustavo watches the roll once again. Takes a nice blue ball down to the 35. All the way down to the arch 30. 30 for Burbank. Burles 1-0 in league. Gustavo motion right to left as Connors brings his team out. Back to pass. Swings it out, trying to set up a screen to Vermeer, and it's in and out of his hand, covering Jay Sutter, the outside linebacker. 
He starts on defense. He will get some playing time tonight. Demikoff will throw. Fires towards the sideline. He's from 30 to 35. Timothy McKellen 10. And the Indians 49 out of the I formation. Moy and Blanchard. Long count by Demikoff to give the Blanchard. Starts right. Tripped up at the 45 and down to about the 47. Making the first hit with Lance White, then Tyler, triple receivers to the left side. Dumatov looking at about a five-man, six-man defensive front. The pressure may be on. Dumatov rolling to his left. Sets up lots of time, throwing towards the sidelines. The ball knocked away at the 39 by Mike Weiner covering downfield on Dan Dan. Trevor Dawson moving back to his own 15 for the blue ball. Mustafa gets the snap, here comes the rush, and Mustafa with a high, booming punch. Molly with a fair chance, is soft with about his 15, and down to there. And the team really starting to gel at the right time. Chandler brings his team out. Checks the defense, maybe calling it audible. On a deep drop, throwing to his right at about the three, throwing towards the sideline, Rommel picked off at about the 30 by Jamie Malaco. And the pass and pass to the high end. Second down and 10. That's 4-4 defense by the Indians. And the team and O'Brien, the inside linebackers, and making the handoff of the runner, running straight up the middle, across the 15 to about the 17. George Cates. And Kevin Nippy to the season, 22 to 14. Third down and 8. Chandler steps up in the pocket, fires towards the sideline, and is incomplete about the 32, thrown behind the intended receiver, Trevor Dallas. The Sasso and Sederberg inside the 45, Rivera peeks it away. It's a high kick into that wind, bouncing, and then down with about the 38 yard line. Up there by the Hart's going to be in great shape on this drive. Back in the quarterback, Ryan Connors once again. The receivers to the right side. Costasso, Vermeer, and Gansher. Connors back to pass. Sets up, firing towards the sidelines. And he's in and out of the hands of Vermeer at the 28. He's covered by Lindell along with Valencia. And he won that thing, he's being the Bulldogs. Canyon tonight on the road at Antelope Valley trying to bounce back. They're going to lock against Court Field last Friday night, 12 to 6. Here's Connor. Stepping up in the pocket, playing deep over the middle, incomplete at the 20. Once again, Vermeer was his target. And he's six of the last seven years. All right, third down and 10. Connors on a deep drop once again. He steps up, throwing deep down the field. It is in and out of the hands at about the one yard line. And the pass and pass is Greg Gustafo once one more time. As does Greg Gustafo. Whitfield wide to the left. Long remaining back there, Charles. And Connors on fourth down. Going to his right, steps up, fires over the middle, in and out of the hand with Vermeer at about the 27. And the Blue Dogs have found one time to throw, but only this year Chandler with only four. So first and ten for Blue Dogs at the road 37. And Chandler steps up at the pocket, throws over the middle, and it is caught by Linus at the 50 yard line and into our territory at about the 47. Dan McKeon making the second to stop the 22 seconds. Chandler brings the team out once again. In the slot left is Ray Gillis. Chandler will take to the air one more time. Throwing over the middle and it is caught at the 35 of Hart. And making the catch, Mike Linus. Away from Tucker Sutterberg and Shane O'Brien. Another first down for the Blue Dogs. And finally starting to get things on the move. Chandler seems to be starting to warm up. And the Blue Bank is Rich Crest. Right after scheduling the Golden Blade. Dillon to the left side along with Dawson. And now Dillon is six to the right side. And Chandler on a quick drop throws right over the middle. It's caught by Dillon at about the 32 and tackled immediately Shane O'Brien and Tom Wolf right there. Five seconds left. So see the Bulldogs take another timeout. The last of the play is second down. At the 34 of Hart. And Chandler with one remaining back, and that is Dennis. And Chandler is looking and throwing downfield at about the 10, incomplete. The pass intended for Ray Gillen at about the 9-yard line. The first half comes to an end. And the 
Scott Indian, most impressive at least early in this one. And around the front, 21 to nothing in our game of the week on KDUT. The first half has been brought to you by the GT. Thank you. 
Chandler. He's second down left in the yard. Chandler spreading to his right will run to the first down as he crosses the 30 to about the 32, 33 yard line. And he'll stop. He'll step back to Casey and concentrate on defense and the group can play the center spot. And I think he's got a nice job at tight end. First and ten, Chandler gets the Brenners off right tackle up to the 33, 34. That's about 100 to six. The defense really starting to tighten up. Second down and eight, Chandler on a dial up the middle and going nowhere with Steve Brenners. Look at Randy Rand. Look the line of scrimmage. We're in the second quarter and Chandler now. A little bit better passer. And Chandler will go back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Here's Chandler throwing towards the sideline. Intercepted by Senator at the 40. Down to the 35 and then finally down to the 30 as the penalty marker is dropped at about the 37. Maybe a clip against the Indians after the, in the interception by Captain Senator. That'll be his second on the season. Yamakov leads his team to play. Let's see if he had a couple of close ones earlier. Connor still on the quarterback. Grenier in motion. Zigzag left to right. Connor sprints out to his left. Throws towards the sideline. In and out of the hands at the 43. Half intended for Steve Wheatfield. Mike Line is covering. And now scored in 10 plus quarters. Out of the eye formation, Maury and Charles are running backs. Connors rolls to his left. Now steps up in the pocket, throws towards the sidelines. Incomplete for 40. He's the pass over well executed by the Houston Cougars out of the Southwest Conference. Grenier in motion. Left side. And pass out to the South Coast. Complete the 45 at the 40. Breaks the pass at the 35. And finally run down to the 30. Right to the South In a big game on the... The Sasso in motion left to right. And we're near the other way. The right side counter joined towards the sidelines. The Sasso makes the pass at the 30 to the 25. Breaks the pass at the 20 to the 15 to the 10. Five in the end zone. The whole other zone was a side down way back at the 30. And Gilbank kind of stopped once they saw the flag, but hey, get up against the blue ball. And there's 223 tonight, first and 10 for 35 of Gilbank. And a five-yard penalty, Connors looking to his right, now changes direction, rolls to his left. He's up to 40, trying to get away, down to the 37, and finally down. Randy Rand, finally chasing down. The quarterback, Ryan Connors, also Danny, with the likes of Muir and all the Orange County schools in Capistrano Valley and El Toro and Mission Viejo and Paramount. Despite the fact that Division One has teams like Commission once again, Gantry flanked wide to the right side. The Sasso in motion left to right. Connors keeps his running back in, rolls to his right, trying to keep towards the sidelines, incomplete the fifth game. And then it was Ryan Grenier. And there's going to be a penalty against Burbank. And it's three down, and I'm left in the yard for the first. Double wing formation. The thoughts are motion left to right. One remaining back. Connors to shove it past the Charles. He's at the 20. Breaks through the effort at the 15. To the 10. Down to the 5. And then finally down. And another flag is thrown at the 5-yard line. Charles actually locked it down about the 5 and fell on it. And Valencia made the tackle before that middle is wide open against the Google on defense. First of the foul went again against Burbank. And now the officials really stuck to order. And the full house backfield. And the Wolf Connors may keep this one. And it gives to Jeff Howard's keep throws into the end zone and it is incomplete. It's kind of the pattern of the Indian. In, uh, ahead of the Suns right now, about the seven yard line. First eagle to go at the seven. Connors keeps, rolls to his right, throws the right slot, incomplete at the five, intended for Dean and Moy. And he sits right about the right knee and hopefully he's going to be okay. And he is not getting up. Tom Lewis comes in and pulls back. He's going to run with Jamie Yolanto as the running back. Ganshin Vanier to the right side. He is trying to get more. Connors going to his right. He's going to throw it towards the end zone. And he's got to stand up. Ryan Vanier got away from Jerry Blossom. A seven-yard touchdown pass from Ryan Connors, his fourth on the night. And for Vanier, his fifth TD of the year, his second to three days. Begin on November 16th, just about a month away. Next week, of course, there's 
championship against the Shoes Partners of Montebello High School. Ball is down, it's hit by Valencia, it is up, and it is good. 35 nothing. the Indians got in the front, 5-13 remaining. Stop at the kickoff, this is a high school football team of the week. On the ground, the Indians, 8 3 Go! 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 Touchdown on the season. 
and it's 41 to nothing in favor of the Indians. So Chandler intended to pass it to the wrong guy. And there's no time remaining in the third quarter. Phillips was truly red dot for a mile away. He could see Chandler rolling out, looking to the left side. That snap on the extra point, Valencia picks it up, and it goes into the end zone, and it's incomplete. He's got to look at the Shane O'Brien.
And the Indians were held and still have that shutout going midway through the fourth quarter. I really don't think that the uh, Blue Dogs are going to kick out for a field goal. No way. They're going to take all the way. The Blue Dogs will win the game. Their own 24. Davis Drum, the top at quarterback. Very fine athlete. Very intelligent football player. And only a sophomore. Rolling to his right. This is the ball to Charles. He's got it to 20 to the 25, 30. Breaks into the open at the 35. He's got the 40 to the 45 as a penalty marker is dropped at about the 40. Uh, Garrett Chuck quickly against the Indians, moved the ball back to about the 22. So it's first down once again in 10 out of the iron formation. Charles moves the tailback. And Gummitop pitches once again to Charles, who cannot pick up the ball. It's three at about the 10. And the fumble is recovered by Burbank into a game but then the penalty and now Indians turn it over. Winville out of the four-house backfield with Grenis, Daniels, and Rand. One count, Winville gives to Daniels, starting right, gets inside the 10 to about the 9. They just see what they're in football. Ben O'Brien making his stop. Garrett Charles for 17 yards in that third quarter. Second down and nine. The last backfield. This time it's to land up the middle. And no room to run. Just maybe to the eighth. So I think that that's the big game. It's kind of funny that they're going to play in uh, the third game in the football league. Ringo on third down. Swings it out to Dawson. He's at the 12. He's going to be trapped and then thrown for a loss. Great job by Shane O'Brien coming up along with Peck. Those lines are set. With a good snap, the ball is down, the kick is up, and he's high enough, and he's long enough, and it is good by William Rivera. So it's a four quarter before the Blue Dogs scored once again. I'm back at Cougar Stadium on the campus of College of the Canyons in Valencia. The Indians leading 41-3 in our game of the week on KBC. Friday night, Target the Manilow Valley. The kick by Rosales, the high kick shot taken at about the 32 by Tom Wolf. And he down at the medium area. But the whole other thing, the Bulldogs are going back once again. They have to do it one more time. Here's the kick by Rosales. Rosales gets it to Wolf. Wolf on the run. Wolf on the run. Wolf on the run. Wolf on the run. The defense, once again, doing a fine job and uh, should have had a shutout, too, but it took a turnover by the hard offense to set up that field goal. Short kick once again, it goes out of bounds, down across four bank five yards, left the Indians take it, which you think they might, the ball went out around the 45. And that's what you like tomorrow in Notre Dame, Miami of Florida. Great football game, of course, I'm a big Miami of flopping. <laughs> And very well the moment they are going to end their engagement. But this will be a great game down here. The team is not great. All right, the Indians take it at their own 45. Wolf is still on the field. He finally gets off. And keeping the ball is Dramatop and a quarterback keeper. He's at the 50, gets to the outside at the 45-40. Down the far sideline to the 35, inside the 30, down to the 27. Steven Dramatop. And good speed and a nice run. Ball moved down to the 27. Dramatop wants to get the quarterback. First and 10 out of the iron formation. Charles with the tailback. Long count. With that five man front and keeping the ball straight up the middle. And running James Grillick, a 5 10 junior, just inserted into the game. Let's see if Damon. Second down and three. Make it actually a loss in the play. Second down and 12. We give to Charles off his right tackle, driving his way down to the 20, there's Holly Downer. And Valencia, the championship, of course, the big gifts. They would host the first round game of the Seattle playoffs on November 16th in Division 3. Third down, about five, and we give straight up the middle, and getting close to the first down. One back.
Once again, the final score of the Indians improved their league record at 2-0 overall. Five and two, the Bulldogs dropped to 0-2 in Twitter League action, and one in six. Both teams going in opposite directions, but the Indians are winning five in a row. The Bulldogs have lost five straight. 41 to three, the final score. Back with the first game show. This is the high school football game of the week on 12:20 a.m. KBC. Touchdown! Yeah. Yeah. The calendar's only made great time. Hi, this is Randy Childs, inviting you to the hottest football party of the week as KBET and Marie Calder's Valencia present Monday Night Football Mania. Join me as your host for exceptional giant screen coverage. Three hot dogs, tacos, and munchies, plus giveaways, including the official NFL replica jersey from the Fortitude of the World Section. The world's good. And when the moocher a few years back, I noticed that not only was the scenery different, but more importantly, the people were different. And I noticed it right away, from the people that work in the stores to the schools our children attend. I can tell that this is a community that cares. And we plan on being a part of this community like no other station can. With good times and great oldies, we're AM Stereo 1220 KBET. The second half of tonight's game has been brought to you by the GT Everything Pages, the first place to look for...